Hey guys, welcome back. Now next topic is coverage. Uh, so just to, to remind you, like scoreboards, uh, I've told you right. Uh, we, we have something uh, expected values, and we are going to compare with the received value. So expected value and received value are both running in parallel, uh, in the same uh, duty as its own memory, and we are just trying to read the information in the data one out, right? And because uh, in the scoreboard we are just passing uh, from the memory uh, from the what we say monitor to from the monitor to we are passing it to the so let's let's see so only this this thing is working right this monitor to the scoreboard this this is the only one which is working so we are just taking data one out if okay, it's working correctly or not okay and uh, in the driver part i told you like driver one driver what is the driver one doing driver one is the one which is writing and driver two which is reading right it is just, uh, reading the value what is there in the memory right but the scoreboard you, you don't have anything to compare because uh, whatever is there in the memory you have to read it right and uh, in the scoreboard you're not sure what you're trying to compare what will you will be able to compare right so the, nothing is there for the uh, driver to part so so uh, driver 2 is getting related to in the monitor in the monitor one phase you're just taking the data 0 out and data 1 out and uh, driver 1 is the one which is driving the your data one out right that is the one it is driving so so let's see uh, driver one is driving data one out there are two data ports right data zero out and uh, data one out so let's see in the driver one we are driving uh, in the right operation we are driving interface dot data zero in is equal to packet dot data in right and uh, Mm -hmm. So interface, uh, okay. We are driving the data zero in, right? So in the monitor two, we we are checking the. Uh, so this, this is the right operation, right? This is the so whatever is the data zero in that is getting driven, right? Uh, in the monitor two, uh, we are reading and uh, we are reading and we are passing it to the data one out, right? So same memory location. So so whatever address and uh, things are there right in the packet one so so address variable and uh, uh, address variable remains same right so for packet code let's say so in that we are just trying to check from the data one out whether it is same thing is written or not okay now, now you may ask question sir uh, like this is okay but uh, packet one and packet four are two different entities right uh, so memory different different memories different different things can be uh, written and you may not be uh, you may not be reading it but uh, we have to walk through the environment right so in the environment i'll tell you so in the environment so you see in the environment what we are doing in the environment in, in the environment we are calling the environment underscore run function so in the environment underscore run function, what is happening? We are running the coverage, drivers, monitors, all in parallel. So all things are running in parallel. Scoreboard is also running in parallel, right? So this is a, and this this is executed for uh, ten times. Okay? So and uh, in the drivers, so what packets are passing? Packet one, packet four. Means packet one is for driver one, packet two is for driver two, packet three is for monitor one, packet four is monitor two. Monitors, whatever is value is read in the interface, mean. That is getting driving the packets. Packets one and packet two we are driving. Who are who, who are we if we were driving? So packet one and packet two is getting generated from the generator block. What is happening in the generator block? Generator block. Yeah, here. So in generator block, we are generating this packet. So you see here as per your configuration right so you as per your right read configuration so uh, ts2 driver so when you have a read operation you are putting in the driver 2 but you have in the right operations you are putting in the driver 1 right and we are collecting the address and we are collecting the data in and as per that we are passing it right so uh, don't confuse that packet 1 packet 2 packet 3 packet 4 all should be similar right uh, packet is just uh, uh, things uh, in a way, uh, it, 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 it just it is just flowing, right? It is just flowing from the test case uh, to your interface to your duty, right? 
now when it is flowing right so uh, so when in one case uh, your environment is creating the packet and then it is going to the interface the interface cannot create packet so interface is just allowing it and uh, interface values are getting written by the packet variables right then interface is driving the duty then duty is generating the packets and then packet variables are getting and driving the interface and then interface is getting virtual in environment and then it is going to the uh, scoreboard and uh, that stuff right monitor first going to monitor and then it's going to the scoreboard uh, hope you understand the right uh, and monitor what 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 monitor is trying to do in monitor uh, um, monitor is trying to generate the packet okay from the interface uh, interface what is whatever is there it, it's re reading and uh, packets uh, variables it is assigning it okay and then it is going to the scoreboard so in myra this much should be understood okay next is the coverage block one block that is pending that is the coverage block so what is happening in the coverage block in the coverage block you see uh, uh, what is the function of coverage block you see here uh, what is missing in the coverage block in the coverage block we are missing we, we need only one mailbox that is from the generator block that's it and what is the function of coverage block it just needs to check uh, uh, that scenarios are covered or not okay so let's see we will understand in a minute it's not very difficult coverage one so you see um, we are just declaring a class and you see there is a cover group and then there is a cover points right so cover points we are saying for packet packet has address variable and data in and we are seeing that 0 down to 20 so th this these are the two three cover points like low medium high so these values like it's a six bit variables right so six bit means what how much it can go from 0 to uh 2 to power of uh 6 minus 1 right so 2 power 6 minus 1 so that is what uh 64 63 to 63 it can go right so we are splitting it into some parts right so that's how it's split it similarly data in is of 8 bits variable so we are put, splitting into bins right so suppose uh this has covered low bin and uh, medium bin or high bin uh, we say that <coughs> okay so that address address portion is completed right? similarly data in low medium high is covered so in a way data in portion is complete then the combinations of this should be covered so like address low and data in low uh, packet dot data in low and packet dot address low this combination should also be covered okay so these combinations when are covered like so it will be like a nine combinations right low medium high here low medium high here so if nine combinations are covered like it's a 100% coverage got it right so in a way one coverage is done then in a way uh, 1 by 100 by 9 right so 1 uh, 11.11% uh, something right correct 11.11% so nine combinations are done 100% combinations are done right so that's it so you don't need to cover like 0 1 2 3 4 all, all that addresses you just need to cover like this scenario so you will say that things are covered right then this is the external functions right external functions uh, we are passing like a uh, handle packets then uh, generators mailbox and then virtual interface right we are passing it you see coverage part is equal to new so in the coverage port uh, we are declaring new right so so it is allocating some memory for that right then this dot packet is equal to packet this dot generate to coverage is equal to generate to coverage right so what we are here is we are assigning the arguments okay that's it to the local variable same thing right interface but uh, now you may ask like uh, sir why why we need the virtual interface here uh, this is all together uh, not needing it right uh, yeah i understand that it, it, it is not required okay but but we have used it here right uh, we are not uh, doing anything we, we don't need that interface we could ignore it altogether right now you see this is the task and uh, drev dot cover underscore cover colon colon run what is happening here in we are uh, receiving the packet from the generator and we are sampling uh, covered port dot sample okay uh, we are sampling so means whether this this uh, address and these things are covered or not so this is the inbuilt uh, system dialog uh, cover points etc are the inbuilt system dialog uh, thing and uh, i will take care of it stuff right hope you understood the coverage part and now next we will go for the waveforms 
Thank you. Bye.